What we're going to be looking at here is a deferred tax liability. We're going to start out with a beginning balance in this deferred tax liability here, and we'll just look at year X1 here. We're going to have a beginning, beginning balance of $90,000. Now we're going to have a cumulative temporary difference of $350,000 here at the end of year, year X1 here. So what we're going to be looking at in this example, we're going to be looking at a beginning balance versus an ending balance and how we account for that when we're determining and we'll use a deferred tax liability here. And for example, here, this deferred tax liability, it's going to re reverse itself over the next two years evenly here. And for example, we're going to also have a pre-tax accounting income here of 525000 And what we're going to try to determine here is the the tax payable here and also our tax expense for the year here and any deferred tax liability. So what we're talking about here for this temporary difference and let's look at how it's going to reverse here. That's where we're going to eliminate any prior period differences here. So for our example here, this we'll use it as an expense item here. So for year X1 here, uh, our temporary difference is that uh, $350,000 here was deducted here from or would, was taken as an expense here for tax tax accounting, but for financial accounting or book accounting, this three hundred and fifty thousand dollars is going to be expensed out here year X two here and year X three. So what that means here for our tax accounting, it's going to be a future taxable amount by one hundred and seventy five thousand here for each of the next two years here, because we took the entire expense here in year X one here for our tax accounting. So we're going to have we're not going to be able to expense it out here in the next two years here. But for financial accounting, we're going or book accounting, we're going to take the uh, we're going to we're going to be able to expense it here for the next two years here. And for our example here, we're going to have a future tax rate of forty percent. Uh, even amount over the of, over each of those years here, X1 through X3. So taking 40% of our future taxable amount here, and when we mean taxable amount, that's for our tax accounting here, 40% of 175,000 gives us a deferred tax liability here of 70,000 here per year for the years X2 and years X3. Uh, and re our future taxable amount here uh, is $350,000. But I just went through here to show how we uh, set up this temporary difference. Really what we're interested in is this $350,000. Now our total deferred tax liability is just the sum amount here, $140,000. So looking at this $350,000 here. So what we do for this example here, we're going to look at our book versus our tax basis here. So deferred uh, beginning deter, uh, deferred tax liability here, beginning of X1, that was $90,000. So the tax liability is in the, these next years here, this $90,000 is going to be a tax payable here by, or we're going to have to pay taxes on this $90,000 for uh, tax accounting. Now, uh, our related temporary difference here. So what you do to determine your temporary difference, well, we know that our tax rate is 40% here. So you divide that uh, $90,000 here in deferred tax liability by 40% or 0.4 here, and you're going to come up with $225,000. Now that's the temporary difference uh, that we're talking about here. And we can uh, look at that temporary difference, say, as a expense item, as a depreciation item here. So uh, looking at the, how we come up with the temporary difference or the amount that we're going to be originated here in year X1. So we start out with our beginning uh, balance here, that beginning balance of 90000 that we converted over to the temporary difference here of 225000 So beginning of the year here, X1, we take 225000 now, we know at the end of the year X1 here, we have a cumulative amount that we were given here in our example here of $350,000. So, looking at the difference here, we, we actually have an increase here from $225,000 to 300 to 350,000. So that difference here is the amount that's originated in year X1. That's 125,000 here. So, this case is where the tax versus our book uh, basis here is different. So for uh, what was originated here in year X1, this 125000 that's what we would have deducted here from our tax basis here, but not for our book basis. 
that would be deducted later. So this is what we're talking about here. Now, looking at this 350,000, just so you understand it here, this tax basis, that's re reduced by 350,000 that we mentioned here in year X1. So that our tax basis here is lower than our book basis here at the end of year X1 here by $350,000. Okay, so let's go down here and let's look at what we did with our numbers here with this originated amount here of 120 25,000 the temporary difference here for year X1 here. So for our tax accounting let's go down and look at it here. So looking at comparing our beginning of the year here X1 with the end of the year X1 here. We're not going to be dealing with X2 and X3 here. I've just got them labeled here because I'm showing that we're not going to the temporary difference we're not going to be able to deduct this uh, for tax accounting here. So we're going to take looking at our beginning amount here temporary difference. We had that $225,000 here. That was the beginning of the year here uh, of, of year X1 here. Now the end of the year here X1 uh, that was what we calculated. What we originated here in year X1 of $125,000. So that's where you plug it in here for your tax accounting this temporary difference and we can use that temporary difference to say it's a depreciation expense here that we're going to be reduce our income here before taxes. So for example we were given our income here before taxes at $525,000. Now, our temporary difference, remember we started out here at the beginning of the year here of 225000 Now, we don't take the total. All we do is take the difference between what our beginning balance here and our end of the year balance, that $125,000. So that is going to be our expense item that we're going to reduce our income by for the year here for tax accounting or tax purposes. So taking the 125000 from our, uh, subtract that from our income before taxes of 525000 So our taxable income here for tax accounting purpose is going to be $400,000. So our tax payable here we have that 40% tax rate times 400,000. So our tax payable here for the uh, year X1 or the end of the year X1 is $160,000. And just so you know what this 125,000 here, this temporary difference represents, that's our net future taxable amount. 125,000 times the 40% tax rate gives us 50,000 here, the net future taxable amount here. So. Uh, the point is here, and when I talk about future taxable amount here, that's what we're going to be taxed here. In the, uh, we're going to have to etch. We take in all our depreciation or expense here in the first year here, but we're going to have to. We're not going to be able to take it in the next years here, X2 and X3, and that's what we're going to have to pay taxes on here. Okay, so we've determined what our temporary difference should be here for the year here based on our are starting out with our beginning of the year balance here and comparing it to the end of the year balance here to determine what our temporary difference is, which we be reducing our income by to determine our taxable income. And then we determine what our tax payable here for the year is 160000 Okay, so let's just go down and look at our journal entries here. So we're just going to be looking at year X1 here. So what we have to do is we have to set up <coughs> Our tax payable, that's what for tax accounting purposes here. And then we're going to have our tax expense. That's for financial accounting or book purposes here. And that goes to our income statement. And then we just have that deferred tax liability here. Both the deferred tax liability and our tax payable here. A tax payable is a liability here on our balance sheet. And so is our de deferred tax liability on our, for example, here for a deferred tax. So what we would do here, we take, we determine what our tax payable was. That was that 160000 here. Credit or increase our tax payable by that amount here, 160000 And then we knew what our deferred tax liability was here. We calculated that here to be credit that or increase it here for $50,000. That's that increase here in year X1. That was the 125,000 here for that temporary difference times the 40% tax rate, the $50,000 here in net the future taxable amount. That's a deferred tax liability. So what you do here for your tax expense, essentially that's a plug here. So you determine what your tax payable credit here of 160,000, and then we have a credit here for deferred tax liability of 50,000. So the sum total here 
well, we got the credit total here of 210,000 for summing those. So we, we need a debit amount here, a tax expense here for $210,000. So you've seen what's going on here. Uh, the deferred tax increase here of 50,000 here plus our current tax payable of 160,000 here. You add those together, that becomes your income tax expense, 210,000. Essentially, that is a plug. All you need is that the sum total here gives you your income tax expense. Okay, so then finally, let's just go down and let's look at how we'd represent this here on our income tax expense a section on our income statement here for 20x1. So what you do, you have your income before taxes here. That's that 525,000 that we had here. And then our income tax expense, that's going to be broken down by the current portion here. That's the tax payable here of 160,000. And then we have also the deferred portion here. That's the deferred tax liability here of 50,000. So that sum total gives us 210,000. So we take our income tax expense here, 210,000 from our income before taxes of 525,000. So our net income here would be 315,000. So what we've gone over here in this section here is really how you'd rep represent this income tax expense section on your income statement here for 20X1. Okay, so that'll summarize what we've, uh, our little example here where we had to deal with a deferred tax liability where we had a beginning amount here and then we had a cumulative difference during the year here that reversed out over the future years here. And we had to determine what our deferred tax liability was and also our tax expense and also our tax payable. Okay, so that'll summarize our example.